we will discuss x.25 network. Myself, Sudhakar Barbade, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to describe key features of x.25. In the following slides, we will discuss features of x.25, x.25 layers and virtual circuits. If you look at this uh, diagram, this is a x.25 network which consists of DCE, data communication equipment and the DTEs that is data terminal equipments are connected to these DCs. Okay. So the network consists of DCs and the communication takes place between the two DTEs. This type of network is a that is x.25 is a packet switch network which is developed by ITUT in 1976 and it defines a how a packet mode terminal that is DTE can be interfaced to a packet network that is called a DCE used for data communication. So how this communication takes place in this x.25? that we are going to discuss. Here we are going to study the x.25 layers. This is a standard OSI model which consists of uh, seven layers and in x.25 only three layers are implemented and the names given to those are physical frame and packet. So x.25 has three layers, physical layer, frame layer and packet layer. Let us see the purpose of each layer. Physical layer deals with the physical interface between station and packet switching node. Station here it is named as a DTE and packet switching node is a DCE. So how the DTE and DCE of a communication network are connected by a physical interface that is named as physical layer. So it consists of different electrical characteristics. Then at the next layer frame layer is responsible for reliable transfer of data across physical layer by transmitting it as a sequence of frames. Data is uh, grouped into different frames and these frames are then tra uh, transmitted in a physical link in the communication channel. And at the last packet layer which facil facilitates for end to end connection between two DTEs. So packet layer performs the circuit establishment between two DTEs and once the circuit establishment is done, uh, packets, uh, uh, packets are transferred. Let us see what are the functions performed by packet layer. First function is establishing connection as we discussed earlier, then transferring a data, then terminating a connection. So these are the three uh, stages involved in uh, packet layer. In addition to that, packet layer, what it does is in x.25 packet layer and frame layer, both the layers perform error and flow control. 
in addition to this uh, uh, data transfer circuit establishment circuit disconnection packet layer does also the error and flow control let us have a question Connection between two DTEs is established by which of the three layers in X.25? You pause the video and answer the question. You might have thought over the question. The connection between two DTEs is established by packet layer. Now let us go to the virtual circuits. So this is a figure which shows the virtual circuit. So this is a X.25 network which consists of DCs, data communication equipments and these DTs, uh, DCs are attached to a DTE. So here we are having uh, four DTEs, DTE A, B, C and D. And See, this there is only one physical link between DTA and DTC, but here a virtual circuit of uh, three uh, channels is created which can connect this DTA to DTB through this path, then DTA to DTC through this path, and then DTA to uh, DTD through this path. So, using single physical link, three virtual circuits are created. So, virtual circuits are created at packet layer. Several virtual circuits are created through the same link using in-band signaling technique. Virtual circuit identifier is known as local channel number which is assigned to the uh, every virtual circuit. Now, there are two types of virtual circuits we will see. One is a permanent virtual circuit also called PVC which is uh, somewhat similar to Lee's line used in telephone network. That means in permanent virtual circuit uh, the connection is uh, always present between the DTEs. So, it is same as a private line. Then next is a switched virtual circuit also called SVC wherein uh, links are set up between the local DT DC and the remote DT DC before actual data transfer. So before transferring the data link must be established between uh, local DT DC and remote DT DC pair. Then, Virtual circuit is set between the local and remote DTs. So, by doing this, the DT1 and DT2 uh, circuit is established. Then, the data transfer is performed between the DTs, and at the end, the virtual circuit is released and also the link is disconnected. So, this way, switched virtual circuit performs setup, data transfer and disconnect these different phases. In summary, what we have studied here is, we have made a table of features of X.25. So, different features and at what layer that uh, task is done that is also shown here. So, if you look at connection, connection establishment is done at network layer, flow and error control is done both at frame layer and network layer. Data rate in this X.25 is a fixed one. Then Multiplexing is done at a network layer and congestion control which is uh, not necessary because the 
line is of fixed capacity, so there is no possibility of uh, congestion. References Data Communication by Professor A. Pal, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, and the contents are taken from NPTEL lecture number 24 and the chapter is x.25 and frame relay. The link of the video is also given here. You can refer this for additional details. Thank you very much.